Is it too pale? Hey guys, today we are trying out new foundation and concealer. I have not purchased a high-end foundation in two years. Oh my god, has it seriously been two years? I haven't been wearing that last foundation because it was an utter fail. This time we are trying out an entirely different brand. We are going with Estee Lauder. Lauder? Estee Lauder. Estee... I don't know. So we've got the Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation and the Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Concealer. If you're into this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So I wore a shirt that shows a little bit more real estate because I want to see how the color matches. I actually had somebody message me asking to explain how I match my foundation color. The answer that I gave her was, um, I don't. I am so bad at buying the right foundation shade online. The last high-end foundation that I bought two years ago, it was the wrong shade, so I used it once and then it sat there. And the fact that it showed up was the wrong shade and I couldn't be bothered to return it says a lot about who I am as a person. This already feels fancier than what I'm used to. Ooh, it's a screw top. Where's the pump? Squeeze tube? Hello? I'm really starting to question my decisions. I am not emotionally mature enough for foundation you have to pour out of the bottle. While we're on the topic of me making bad choices, I didn't read the um, details fully about this foundation before I bought it. I just read the reviews being positive. So when I went back and looked at it after the order was placed, I read that the finish is matte, not really what I'm going for, and the skin type recommendation is combination and oily. Translation, not really for dry skin. <laughs> Throwing on the primer, just using my Smashbox primer stick again. So my hope for this foundation is that it doesn't settle into the fine lines, mainly this one. That tends to be my problem child. What if I do MAC Prep and Prime first? All right. Oh, that's better. Please, please, for the love of God, don't spill all over me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going in with my beauty blender. I would say we definitely got the full coverage part. The true test for dryness will be on my nose. So maybe it's a little bit light for my chest. Okay, I need more. Okay, 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 okay. The level of stress that it causes having to pour that out of a bottle. Not sure if that's worth the $52. Oh yeah, it costs $52 for the foundation. All right, I can see that it's clinging on to the dryness at the top of my forehead. Everywhere else seems to be okay so far. My nose isn't too bad. Is it too pale? I think it's okay. I am having to build up in a few spots. It's not fully covering my freckles. I wouldn't say it's like the fullest coverage. Going into the concealer in 1C, which is the light cool please god don't have any weird surprises with this one that's a pretty big wand wish me luck why does this look even darker than my foundation how is 1c darker than 2c for the foundation going in with my sephora airbrush concealer brush blending out the edges first continuing that on the lid for when i do my shadow so this coverage is freaking sweet <laughs> The darkness that I pretty much always have under my eyes is gone, and that's with one layer. Oh, this concealer costs $36 Canadian. Getting a little bit of creasing already. How? I haven't even left you yet. Okay, I'm going in with my beauty blender just to make sure if there's any extra product, I'm really soaking her up before I leave. All right, I haven't said anything, but I'm seeing a little bit of creasing already in the uh, laugh line that I pointed out earlier. I am going to set my under eye. I'm just going in with a dry makeup sponge. It's a cheap little dense one. And the Kat Von D shade and light, whatever the light color is. All right, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face off camera and I'll show you how it all looks in just a second. Okay guys, this is it. Decided against false lashes today just because I'm gonna do a full day wear test and I don't want to have to deal with those all day. So a couple of things I noticed while doing the rest of my face. Number one is that it was creasing a little bit on my 
eyelids before the shadow was down which is not a big deal but now I'm noticing it's still kind of creasing a little bit the other thing it did crease a little bit under my eyes so that's the concealer the foundation surprise of the day it's matte there's absolutely no glow to it whatsoever but any glow that you see I added myself I think the color match is okay. I mean, it's a little bit fair, but it's definitely wearable. Okay guys, this is in natural daylight. Oh, I'm holding my baby monitor for proof that uh, he is actually asleep during all of this. In natural daylight, you're really uh, not minding the finish of this. Please ignore the premature wrinkles on my forehead to pass so far. He literally woke up right as I finished filming this. I'm a magician. Dada. Mama, not Dada. Okay, I'm going to wear this all day-ish. It's about 10 a.m. right now, so I'll check in later tonight and we will see how it holds up. All right, see you guys later. So this is the final check-in. It is now 6.30, so it's about, about eight and a half hours. I actually find that I like the finish, I think, more now than I did before. A couple of things I'm noticing. So the foundation held up pretty good. It did wear on the tip of my nose. I don't know why. It looks like it's lightening a little bit on my chin. That could just be from my son grabbing at me. I don't know. But under my eye, you can see that it's pretty creasy. And on this side, you can see that it's a little bit dark. So my overall thoughts, I actually like the foundation if you're into the full coverage matte look. The concealer, I liked the coverage of it, but it looks like it's creasing. Obviously I'll be trying them again. Oh, oh yeah, and then you can kind of see creasing with my shadow as well. But anyways, this is how it looks at the end of the day. Not bad. I'm not going to go downstairs to end the video, so I will say it here. I hope you found this interesting, or at the very least, I hope it helped you kill some time if that's what you were trying to do, and I hope I see you back at some point. Bye.